In this morning's Health Watch, the medical crisis in Haiti Tuesday's earthquake has essentially wiped out the few medical resources that existed there. Experts predict a health care disaster in the days to come. Our Dr. Jennifer Ashton joins us with more now. In, in this hemisphere, it's one of the places with the fewest doctors and nurses per capita any place. That's right, Harry. In 1998, which is the, first, the last time we really had good statistics out of Haiti, there were estimated to be just over two doctors for every 10,000 people. There are very few nurses there. And at baseline, before the earthquake, very few hospitals with acceptable facilities. Now those needs become all the more essential because we have to remember every time we see a person pulled out of rubble and wreckage, there is a good likelihood that that person will require extensive hospital care, operating room facilities, facilities, blood transfusions, dialysis, IV fluids, none of those things are possible now. And none of that stuff exists. In one of the websites that I read this morning, there, the supplies are gone. There are no more medical supplies. That's correct. And also, we have to remember the, the baseline population there, 5% of the Haitian population is infected with HIV AIDS. Tuberculosis is a huge problem down there. The HIV AIDS obviously makes the rescue and treatment mission even more precarious for the Especially personnel there. Re risky for the uh, emergency personnel or the family members who are trying to rescue someone Absolutely. because they risk their own infection. Absolutely. And we also have to remember there's a golden window after an earthquake of about 24 to 48 hours. 85 to 90 per 95 percent of survivors are pulled from wreckage in the first one to two days. And again, once they are extricated, they will need extensive medical care. Right now, medical personnel are arriving, but they will be in the process of setting up mobile hospital mm -hmm. units, tents, operating room facilities and so that those doctors and nurses can actually take care of these people. You talk about this window of 48 hours. That window is closing even as we speak. Absolutely. It does extend slightly up to three to five days, but we need to remember that the people who come out of there are really going to require a lot of medical support. Some of those people may need to actually be removed from the island, and, and this is something that we're going to be watching unfold hour to hour. And many, many of the injuries that we have seen are still un remain untreated. There are people who are standing or sitting or lying in the street waiting to be triaged in some of these makeshift facilities that don't have the help or the supplies to, to let alone the people who are still as we heard from Katie, still being pulled out of the That's rubble. That's right. Surgical facilities, access to operating rooms or, or ability to actually perform surgery for crush injuries and massive lacerations, internal trauma is going to be really paramount over the next few days. Then you have to worry about infection, not only mm. from the crush injuries, but from the lack of clean water. This is a huge medical catastrophe. All right, Dr. Ashton, thank you very you much.